What's up guys? This is uh, Freaky Friday Shane here. Uh, doing another toy haul video. Uh, got my first one up here. DC Comics Multiverse Mr. Freeze. Uh, this is the second one of the series I've got. As you've seen last week, I had the Armored Edition Batman. <clears throat> this is actually probably my favorite one in the series. Hopefully this one or Deadshot. Got some cool artwork there. This is, you know, the same packaging that came with the uh, DC Unlimited series. Just in a 4 inch uh, scale. Um, right here. Gives a little information. Up here, I believe, is just the same as all the other ones. And back here it says Bane, Batman, and Azrael. Actually, I don't know if you know, but Deadshot and... Uh, armored edition, of course. They're uh, both already out too. You can get them at Toys R Us, eight ninety nine a piece. They basically got them all there, uh, all the time. At least at the ones I've been to. So, pretty nice figure. I'm a big Mister Freeze fan. Always have been, and was pretty excited to get this figure. As you can see, it's from Arkham City. It says villain slash ally. So that's basically it for that one. Uh, I got quite a few figures. Here for you all today. I picked up a few this week. This is just this week's haul. So this one I actually ordered like over a month and a half ago. Just now getting her in. Probably my least favorite Black Series figure, and that is Princess Leia. I I don't like this figure at all. Bad head sculpt there. Doesn't look anything like her. I don't think. Barely any accessories. Tiny figure. It's kind of like the art. R2, it's just kind of a waste, but I only paid $10 for her on Amazon, she was for some reason really cheap, but you know, it's got the cool picture on the back there, the yellow line, and there's a little information on her, you know, I guess it's a, I guess it's okay, I'm just kind of a completist, always have been, but the slave outfit layout was definitely not one that I wanted to see in this series, I don't think this series is going to last much longer, truthfully. I just think they're putting out too many dumb figures like R2 and her and Greedo. So. Uh, next up, I completed the first wave of my Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Man. Toys R Us is starting to get these in now. Uh, pretty much all of them should have some. They still don't stand well. But here's a... Superior Spider-Man. Kind of hard to see there. Sorry. But, you know, comes with the two extra hands. He's a pretty nice figure, I guess. Got the Spider logo up top. Same view on the sides as some of the other ones. And then on the back, it shows here. Toxin, uh, Spider-Woman, and Boomer... Or Spider-Girl. I keep saying Spider-Woman. And Boomerang here. They are for sure going to be released in February. Uh, the case ratios are the same, though. Uh, there's just one per case of each of them, and then one Electro and four Spider-Mans. So, well, two Superiors and one from the movie, but you can see him there. He's kind of hard to see. He's a dark figure, but, I mean, he's a pretty cool figure. I really like him, but uh, comes with one of the legs of the Ultimate Green Goblin. At the bottom there, you know, says the normal stuff, so pretty cool figure. And then the last one, besides the three variant figures, is this Electro. I like the Electro, but I have one problem with the Electro, and that's the paint right there on his chest. It's just, I don't know, they didn't really fit it into the figure well. Like, it doesn't blend in. It's just kind of like thrown on there in one spot. I do like the extra head that comes with him, uh, with the kind of electric currents whatever coming out of the eyeballs and I really like the uh, fingers here how he has the electric coming out of there he's got the different logo up top for the movie different thing on the side for the movie got the th same thing on the back there's his bio there uh, like I say this is a pretty good figure uh, overall my one gripe is that paint. It kind of bothers me. Kind of got it up the arm here too, but it's an alright figure, I guess. Uh, next, this is actually something that I've just started getting into. A little late. 
but if anybody knows much about any kind of transformers uh i know there's a lot of collectors out there of transformers uh, i've just started getting into them i don't really know what to look for you know what's a what you know what the the rare ones are or the hard ones to get or the really cool ones i didn't really i don't really read any of the or watch any of the shows or any of the comics or anything but i mean if anybody i watch the movies i like them a lot but if anybody can give me any kind of information on the figures what to look for and which ones are big with collectors and not like i say i'm just picking up the ones right now that i think are cool but I'd seen a lot of people had been wanting this uh, Prowl figure. And I found him and I actually thought he was a really cool figure. So I went ahead and picked him up. He changes it into a really cool vehicle there. Uh, sorry if I don't use any of the proper terms. Like I say, I'm still kind of getting used to these. But on the bottom, you see RC Knockout Night Shadow Bumblebee there. Um, and there's the back of the packaging uh, Series 2, number 16, Deluxe Class cool picture there with the car and then it has the Transformers Prime stuff down there at the bottom uh, <clears throat> I actually kind of like this one he's not my favorite Transformer I've got now I actually picked up quite a few here that I'm going to show you uh, but he's a he's a cool figure I like him a lot uh, I like the head sculpt on him and how the back of the head's like translucent kind of so you can see through it so uh, it says he comes with a fire lance missile launcher and snap on armor which is pretty cool but that's prowl uh, and then another prime transformers prime beast hunters i went ahead and got the night shadow bumblebee he doesn't i don't know if he's popular with collectors but i think he just i just think he looks really cool the black and more black than yellow i do like more yellow but you know this one's just kind of a random look to him he's got a pretty cool vehicle transformation there Night Shadow Bumblebee Autobot firing Eagle f Fire Bow. That's what it says. As you can see, there's six missiles are included with him. You know, it's a, I just think it's a pretty cool figure overall. But there's a little thing on him there. Facing the Predacons. There's that. And the same picture. These are the only two uh, Beast Hunters ones I got. Not really as into these as I am the, the, uh, the Generations figures. But... I like the Voyagers, it's just I couldn't really afford any of them right now. I didn't really get any of them. I do want that Sharktacon Pega well, Sharktacon Megatron and um Ultra Magnus I thought was pretty cool. And the Preda King, but I think I might wait for a little bit until they uh come out with a few more. I did see a Preda King in this size figure in the uh deluxe class and I thought about getting him but I held off on him for now so that is night shadow bumblebee next we'll move on to autobot skids generations class and these are the ones i really like let me switch the um stand here so you all can see a little better <clears throat> there we go all right autobot skids cool vehicle transformation Actually, this one was one of my favorite ones I got. Uh, Generations up there. It comes with a comic book. I like the packaging a lot more for these. Uh, right here it says Series 2, number 9. Cruiser mode, blasters combined, hidden weapons. Right there. Pretty cool picture. A little thing over here. But, I mean, overall this is, I think it's a pretty cool figure. Down here it kind of tells what his, I guess, abilities are. Uh... Like I say, I'm probably screwing a lot of this up, but, you know, I'm not too familiar. On the bottom, it says Dreadwing and Waspinator. I really want this Waspinator, but, I mean, I've seen he's kind of <clears throat> pretty hard to find. Uh, there's another one, Goldfire, I'm pretty sure, that may be in the same series, if I'm not mistaken. And I really want Goldfire, but haven't ran into him. Or I did run into him once, but he was all bent up and... You know, I keep mine in the package packages here. So. Move on to another Generations one. I did pick up Dreadwing along with uh, Autobot Skids. They had them both, and so I went ahead and grabbed him. I really like his face sculpt. Uh, and I like the picture on the back there, the comic book there. Uh, his transformation is pretty cool, but it's just the exact same one as the 
uh, Megatron that is in this uh, it's number three in series two this one's number seven and there is uh, his stats I guess or what they are uh, his transformation it says wings become a battle cannon and there's a stealth it's a stealth bomber pretty obvious but and there's some stuff on him uh, pretty cool figure I really I liked him but I think I might have liked Autobot skids a little more but I'll show you all one of my favorite ones I got here today and that was or this week I should say and that was this Megatron figure I'm a huge Megatron fan and this is just a cool figure you can see the purple on him there and he looks a little black but I think he might actually be like just a real dark purple not really sure it's kind of hard to tell he's the same stealth bomber there 2014 got the cool comic book picture on the back number three in series two wings become fusion cannon on this one it's not much different but uh there's that and here's his stats which are pretty high on just about everything except for speed uh, I mean, I think this is a cool figure. This is the last of the Transformers I got this week. But let me know what you all think about the Transformers I'm picking up. If they're, you know, good ones to get or, you know, if not, what, like I say, what should I look for? What do you guys want to see? Uh, if I can find those, I'll do some uh, haul videos of those and some reviews if you all want to see them. Uh, some inbox reviews. But that's uh, all the Transformers I've got. And I was going to say, as I go along, I'm actually going to update uh, my top ten list of the figures. If you see my last video, it was uh, my top ten figure, favorite figures that I own. And this guy actually took uh, number ten this week. Actually, there were three figures that got in the top. Uh, and that uh, knocked out Aquaman, Hulk, and, and the Beetle figure. Uh... So, uh, just one second here. <clears throat> Gotta change the stand here again. Oh. And here is the figure that took the f number five spot. SH Figure Arts Red Ranger. I was so excited about this figure. I just think it's awesome. Look at all the accessories it comes with comes with a bunch of extra hands as well which are behind the picture here cool picture you know 20th anniversary celebration here and I mean SH figure arts these are just a great series of figures and cool picture on the side there on the side it says SH figure arts and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Red Ranger and in the back it shows all the parts you can see all the parts he comes with there some cool poses they show off up top it says Red Ranger there and then down the side here Red Ranger and then up here Red Ranger and then a little print up top above his head there but <clears throat> this is definitely has definitely moved in uh, as number five favorite figure uh, probably all of these Power Rangers ones will be pretty up pretty close up there uh, but that is the Red Ranger and then last but not least I was going to do an unboxing video for you all but I got a little too excited and went ahead and opened this guy up uh, he actually took number two knocked Carnage back and that is the Green Ranger oh, I was really excited about this guy but I just I don't like him more than the White Ranger that might be a little biased on my part just because I'm a big White Ranger fan but this is the one I uh, like the most, or uh, White Ranger is the one I like the most. This one's I like the second most. Out of the ones I got so far, I still got to get Pink, Armored Red, and then of course later on this year, we've got Blue, Black, and Yellow coming out. But as you can see there, it shows a picture on the back, some cool uh, poses, including the weapons he comes with, accessories I should say. This huge sword there, which is pretty cool, and then a smaller dagger. Uh, Green Ranger up the side, SH Figure Arts, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Green Ranger, Green Ranger, Green Ranger on the top, just like basically all the other ones. 
but here, here is the Green Ranger beside the White Ranger. Uh, I just gotta say I like the White more. But in here are all of them together. Those are the only three I have right now. Like I say, I gotta pick up pink and armored red. <clears throat> but right now my number one figure is White Ranger, then Green Ranger, then Carnage, Flash, Red Ranger, Shazam, Boba Fett, Darth Maul, Future Foundation, Spider-Man, and then Megatron. Like I said before, if you all have any arguments with any of those, just let me know and I'll take them into consideration. Uh, think it over. But, you know, these are, I think it's pretty good for what I have. As you, you all have seen all my figures, I've got a video posted. My first video shows all of them. And then every other one I've got since then is a haul video. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you all think. Uh, please like, leave comments, subscribe. Uh, there'll be more videos coming. Like I say, I can only post them about once a week now. I'm in college, so there probably won't be as many figures as this week either because I spent quite a bit on figures this week, so I'm not going to have as much money now. But, you know, I'll try and buy a few here and there as I can as I come across them and then do a little video for you all. They won't be as long as this one, though. This is just, I picked up 11 figures. One other thing I was going to show you, though, is I actually inspired one of my buddies to become a action figure collector. Not the same as I collect, but, you know, these are pretty cool figures, too, I think. Uh, and I'll go ahead and show these off a little bit. He has started to pick up the McFarlane um, NBA figures and that's one of his favorite players there Damian Lillard his favorite team is the Trailblazers so there's Damian Lillard Carmelo Anthony and Tony Parker one thing I found weird about these are their legs aren't on them on the bodies you have to assemble them and take them out but of course he doesn't open either but this is all series 23 I believe and there is a thing here that shows, you know, how rare that there are some rare ones, like some variants. And he actually is ordering the Lillard, Damian Lillard with the white uniform, the Rip City uniform, which is pretty cool. But these are the only three he's got in his collection right now. He's actually going to maybe start picking up different ones as well, some, some other ones that he likes that he can find. He's looking around. Uh... But as he gets some, you know, I'll post them in some of my videos and show them off. Uh, but yeah, that's about all I got uh, for you all today. So, like I say, let me know what you all think. Um, you know, like, subscribe, comment, all the normal stuff. Uh, get everything picked up here. Now, show it all off one more, one last time here. just so many today it's a little difficult to show everything off again but beast hunters beast hunters everything I've got today plus his three one other thing I wanted to show you all is the display here I started to put my uh, Marvel Legends on the wall thought it was kind of cool got to put my new ones up but like I said you know like subscribe comment uh, Tell me what you think, and uh, I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Thanks.